Hello, and this is a Takanotsume pepper that I grew. The first one to become red. Uh, I've tried this one when they were green and they had no heat at all. And But they did have a pretty like decent flavor that I would like have in a salad. Uh, a bit of like a green bell pepper, but a little bit different. So I'm gonna try the red one. Um, I don't know how strong they're supposed to be, but I mean, it doesn't really smell very spicy, so. Yeah, it doesn't taste that spicy either, but they have a good flavor. Like, they have a strong flavor. Oh, wait, I mean strong, I don't mean spicy, I mean. Some nice sweetness. Can save some seeds, maybe. Mm. All right, now let's eat the rest. Good crunchiness. Mm. There, there we go. At the very top, I can feel a little bit of spiciness, but I would say it's even lower than like a jalapeno. And I'm, I'm specifically talking about like a mild jalapeno. I think this is even milder than that. If you had a mild, mild jalapeno and you bit it, like, ah, oh, this is a mild, mild jalapeno. That's what I think this Takanotsume pepper is. And I saved some of the seeds. Ah, I probably can't. There we go. Gonna save these seeds, dry them out. And probably grow this again because I actually really like the flavor. I mean, don't ha I only have a, like a little plant of it right now, even though I was given a fuck ton of fruit from uh, such a small plant. I mean, it's kind of like a pepper that would really work in a salad, I think. That sweetness and the crunchiness would work really well.